With the iGrow 800 controller, you can now control the CO2 levels within your greenhouse environment. Now to do this, you would need your firmware updated to 1.0.2.1, which supports CO2 control, and have a digital integrated sensor module, DISM, installed and mapped on the controller. Now, the first thing that you would do is you would set your CO2 target set point. Now to do this, you would simply hit OK, go to set points, and then you would go to your CO2 set point. Now with CO2, you can have up to three set points. Night and DIF are turned off and you would have to turn them on to make them enabled. We'll go to day. Now right now the target set point for the day is 1500 ppms. If you want to set the dead band you can simply hit button number 8 to change it from default 25 to whatever dead band level you would wish to have. Now we're going to go ahead and set up our CO2 target set point to be and you change the increment levels by simply hitting one. We're going to make our, our, our CO2 target be 900 ppms. Hit OK and then hit home to save your changes. Now once you have set your target set point you would have to set up a piece of equipment to be a CO2 equipment type device. Now to do this you would simply hit OK, go to system setup, go to equipment setup number one and then we want to make this circ fan output be a CO2 injector and you'd simply hit OK and in equipment settings for circ fans we want to do initial settings and then we want to go ahead and set the type the general type and we want to make it a CO2 equipment type device hit OK and this will delete previous settings for circ fans hit OK now it gives you CO2 settings you have the option to have CO2 be a generator or a tank and for our example we're going to have CO2 be a tank. To make it a generator just simply hit button number five to make it a generator but we're going to have our on cycle time be two seconds and our off cycle time for demonstration purposes we're going to make it be three seconds and hit OK. Now button number two that says inside light cut off means that you can have CO2 cut in accordance of the watt per meter square level within the greenhouse but we're gonna go ahead and disable that and have CO2 cut by set point and simply just hit back and then we want to change the name and delete circ fans and put CO2 and then hit OK and then once done hit home and then save your changes now right now we have CO2 we want to make sure that it's an auto okay and our CO2 set point if you remember is at 900 ppm's and right now 
because it's 479 ppms reading on the home screen the CO2 output number three is cycling with our short cycle bursts to try to increase the CO2 levels to the target set point plus the dead band which confirms that our CO2 is now functioning injecting cycling and working and that's our video in setting up CO2 with the iGrow 100 controller.